Woo! Welcome everyone to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean Stacking the Money Green. Give me a follow on Twitter at Sean T Green. And as always, the Daily Juice is being brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code Juice150 and you got yourself a thousand dollar risk free bet if you are a new customer. Well, hey, didn't need those uh, free bets yesterday. How about those Buffalo Bills? Wagon circling time. They get it done 31 to 10. And what a start to the NFL season. Three and oh, uh, with a solid 2.3 units of profits. Uh, again, I thought the game was really fun. Uh, maybe it's because I got a- almost all my bets right. I did throw out a uh, bonus uh, little action in there in the Discord. Dawson Knox, very chalky play. That didn't that didn't happen. Uh, also hit the Cam Akers under uh, rushing yards, 44 and a half yards. Uh, the sleeper play I gave out sleeper.com slash daily juice, get in over there. Um, uh, yeah, I, I I'm shocked still that people are drafting cam Akers in the third round. I mean, I, I didn't understand it at all. I thought Daryl Henderson is kind of interesting just cause he's on the Rams and what should be a good offense. I don't know. We'll see. Also guy, I have a little, uh, Matty Stafford, most interceptions. So that's uh that could, that, that is alive and well, all right, let's walk through all the winners. It's pretty fun when it's all winners like this. Uh, Josh Allen rushing yards easily went over 56 rushing yards. Again, this guy shows up in big games. He's not going to go down without a fight. I mean uh, that, that uh, one run he had for the first down where he like stiff armed and threw the cornerback down. Like, I mean, Josh Allen is just, I understand if he's in your division, maybe you hate him, but man, Josh Allen is just a fun guy to root for uh, Matt Stafford over a half interception. I think I gave it out uh, on yesterday's show minus 140. actually here in Las Vegas. I got it at, at minus 120 um, at the win uh, casino uh, sports book here. So that was uh that was nice. And hopefully you guys uh, tell as well. Uh, again, like he just, he doesn't seem right. Um, he ended the season. It's, it's weird to take shots at a guy who won the super bowl, but I still think something is pretty off with that Rams offense. We'll see. Maybe they figure it out. They certainly have a ton of talent and Sean McVay. And I also highlighted no Andrew Whitworth. I think that was a big difference. And the bills defense was legit. Um, again, also on bills money line, they dominated the game. I mean, it, you know, 31 to 10, it probably shouldn't have been that close except for that fumble. And you know, Josh Allen only had a few incompletions. Two of them were interceptions. I, I, I think he was jacked up. I think he was forcing it a little. Um, but again, great start for the Bills. Uh, Isaiah McKenzie. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I gave out a uh, kind of like a crazy uh, twenty to one build your own bet thing uh, over on WinBet uh, for Twitter there, and uh, that thing ended up hitting. So it was just uh, just a great day all around. Great way to start the NFL season. Got. Uh, three college football picks. Two are happening tonight on Friday, and then one is a early look ahead play for Saturday. You know what feels awesome? Winning a Brian Dawkins autographed jersey. We have another winner of the jersey because we couldn't get a hold of the other winner. So shout out to you, Stephen Mack. Again, that's why you got to tune in to every episode, turn on those notifications so you don't miss the notification that you won the autographed Brian Dawkins jersey, courtesy of Pristine Auction. Again, hit up info at bettingpros.com with your uh, mailing address, info, subscription, proof, all that. And uh, congrats to Stephen Mack on that sweet, sweet Brian Dawkins jersey. All right, let's get to the picks. Two Friday night college ones. And like I said, early look ahead for Saturday. Louisville at UCF. I'm taking UCF minus five and a half minus one Oh five over on FanDuel. I was not impressed with uh, Malik Cunningham's performance. I was, I, you know, I, I thought Louisville would give Syracuse a game and man, they got, they got pushed around and um, the UCF quarterback, John Plumley, uh, he, he came off with a really good game, 308 yards, uh, four touchdowns, no INTs. He also is a willing runner, which I, I love betting a willing runner in a big game, similar to Josh Allen, 15 times, 86 yards and one rushing touchdown. And I I love this nugget. So when a team loses game number one as an away favorite, which Louisville did at Syracuse, they were away favorite and is on the road again for game two, like Louisville is they're one 12 and one against the spread. 
Uh, I think it's like 18 years since that one hit. So uh, very, very strong trend. And again, I, I like playing trends that make sense logically. And I think this one does. I, I don't think, um, you know, it, it's tough to lose as an away favorite. And then you got to go to central Florida, the heat, the humidity. And again, the bounce house is a tough place to play on Friday night. Uh, UCF destroyed South Carolina state. But, um, you know, South Carolina State's offense isn't horrible. So I think UCF's defense is going to be pretty good. They're going to go. They're going to give uh, Malik Cunningham some trouble. So give me UCF minus five and a half minus one Oh five over on FanDuel. Keeping it chalky here with pick number two. Give me Boise State minus 16 and a half minus 115 at New Mexico. Get that over on DK. I know some places move to 17, uh, but I'll take the 16 and a half minus 115. Boise State, they did not lose against the spread uh, last year, 2 0 as a 16 and a half point favorite or greater. New Mexico, meanwhile, only one win against the spread last season. <laughs> they were 1 and 5 against the spread as underdogs of 16 and a half points or greater last year. So, uh, why are they consistently this big of dogs and not covering? They're just not that good, let's be honest. Boise State lost by 17 to Oregon State, and that's probably why this line is only 16 and a half. Um, to me, that was more about Oregon state, a, a team that I think, you know, could be in the mix there for the PAC 12 championship as a sleeper team. And I, I think this is a wake up call for Boise state. Now they get to play a, a much softer opponent in New Mexico. Uh, it just feels like a classic get right game. Boise state's going to light them up, uh, run up the score. And again, I thought that loss to Oregon state was more about Oregon state and, and Boise state. Uh, Boise state certainly was sloppy at times. And again, I, I think the coach be ready to go. You know, anytime you play sloppy like that, and then you're going up against a softer opponent, motivation is going to be through the roof. So give me Boise state laying the 16 and a half. Hey, if you guys had it, uh, checked out bettingpros.com slash NFL props. Again, they have tons of ratings, recommendations for prop bet, um, analysis on over under charts and game logs to kind of show you the research enhanced metrics for each prop bet, such as uh, star ratings, cover probability. And of course, EV, you can get it all bettingpros.com slash N F L props. Last but not least, this is happening on Saturday, but uh, get this now before it goes any higher. Alabama at Texas, uh, first half. I'm taking Alabama laying 13 over on DraftKings. Uh, again, Alabama versus uh, first half is just a machine. I also do like Alabama for the game at minus 19, even minus 20. Uh, Saban and this team, I repeat, are in fu mode. They're they're you know this season they're trying to send a message, and I I think the message is we're going to dominate. Um, maybe they trip up as they go along down the season later on, but, uh, this Texas team, you know, they won 52 to 10 against Louisiana Monroe, but, uh, <laughs> can there be an ugly 42 point win? I, I think slightly fraudulent. Really what it was to me is that if you're going to beat this, um, Alabama team, you're going to need a top tier quarterback And Quinn Ewers in his first start. Tremendous, tremendous hype still threw a pick against ULM and he started opening it up late, but he did not. He just didn't look like a, you know, Heisman trophy candidate, um, with all the hype and uh, you know, all the, all the drama surrounding Quinn Ewers and he's made so much money already in the NIL, uh, in the in NIL, I think Will Anderson, and this Alabama defense is going to have a field day against Quinn Ewers. And I really like Alabama uh, minus 13 to kick off that first half. Uh, they're going to get out to like a 17, nothing lead. Um, they are just a machine. They're unstoppable. And I, I think Texas is in for a rude, rude awakening. So give me Alabama lane 13 at Texas in the first half. I'll lock that up now over on DraftKings. Get me Boise State minus 16 and a half, minus 115 at New Mexico State, also over on DraftKings. And last but not least, give me Louisville at UCF minus five and a half, minus 105 over on FanDuel. And again, congrats, Stephen Mack. Email us info at bettingpros.com so we can get you that sweet, sweet Brian Dawkins jersey. As always, uh, bet MGM. 
betfreeshakes.com. Promo code juice150. Get that risk $3,000 bet. Follow us on TikTok at betting pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T. Green. Uh, hop in the Discord, bettingpros.com slash chat. That's where I gave out my first uh, touchdown play. Unfortunately, it did not hit. RIP me. Uh, check out my other podcast, the Sports Gambling Podcast, uh, picking every NFL game against the spread. And as always, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe, rate, and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.